Hi, for today's topic, I will teach you about operation of functions. But on this video, we will focus with multiplying functions. And here is the rule for multiplying functions. If you have f times g of x, it's the same as f of x times g of x. To find the product of the two functions, put parentheses around them and multiply each term for the first function to each term of the second function. Let's have an example. So in here, <clears throat> f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared. And g of x is 2x minus 1. We wanted to know what is the value of f times g of x. So in here, since we are doing multiplication, we need to put them inside the parentheses. So f of x is 2x cubed minus 5x squared multiplied by 2x minus 1. Since these are two binomials, we can use the FOIL method. So first term, that would be 4x raised to 4. The outside term would be negative 2x cubed. Negative 5x squared times 2x, that's negative 10x cubed. The negative 5x squared times negative 1, that's positive 5x squared. Then we com uh, combine the similar terms here. So 4x raised to 4, we combine this. This is negative 12x cubed plus 5x squared. So this is the answer for f times g of x given that f of x is 2x cubed minus 5x squared and g of x is 2x minus 1. Next example. So we wanted to know the value of g times h of x. So this would be 4x plus 5 multiplied by x squared plus 5x. We will do the FOIL method also. So this will be 4x cubed. This would be positive 20x squared. This would be positive 5x squared. And the last term would be positive 25x. Then we will combine the similar terms. So 4x cubed. Then we combine those, that would be positive 25x squared plus 25x. So here is the answer. For the next example, we wanted to know g times h of t. So your variable here is t. So this would be negative 2t squared minus 5t multiplied by t plus 5. So again, we will use the FOIL method. So this equals to negative 2t cubed minus 10t squared minus 5t squared minus 25t. So this will be equal to negative 2t cubed minus 15t squared minus 25t. So here is the answer. Next example. So we wanted to know g times h of t. So this would be equal to t minus 4 multiplied by 2t. So in here, this would be monomial multiplied by binomial. So what you're going to do is to just distribute. So first, 2t times negative, uh, I mean 2t times t is 2t squared. Then 2t times negative 4 is negative 8t. So here is the answer. Okay, for this example, uh, we will now substitute 2 on the values of x. So in here, this would be g of 2 first. So this is 3 times 2 plus 1. And that equals 6 plus 1. And that is 7. Your f of 2 here would be 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared. So this would be 8 
plus 3 times 4, 8 plus 12, or simply 20. So next would be g of 2 multiplied by f of 2. So g of 2 is 7 multiplied by f of 2 is 20. So the answer here would be 140. Okay, how about h times g of 5? So we need to get h of 5 first. So this would be 5 plus 5 and that equals 10. g of 5 is 3 times 5 minus 5. And that equals 15 minus 5 or simply 10. Then we will multiply it. So it's h times g of 5. That is also each times each of five times g of five, so that equals ten times ten, and that is equal to one hundred. And for your last example, uh, multiplying binomial by a trinomial. So in here, f of x. So that is x plus 1 multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 1. So first, you have to distribute x on the three terms first. So this would be x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. Then distribute 1. So plus x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then we will combine the similar terms. So this would be x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. So this is the answer. So that will be all for today for Math Minute. Thanks for watching. If you have any question or additionals, you can leave uh, your suggestions on the comment box section. And also, if you wanted to have more examples about multiplication of functions, I will make one if you will request it. So, please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.